hi there this story title is skeleton for dinner written by marjorie kyler illustrated by will terry don't forget to like share and subscribe one day a big witch and little witch decided to brew a stew they added all their favorite ingredients shark fins and snake skins spider silk and centaur's milk catfish whiskers and banshee blisters big witch took a taste hmm this is so yummy she said let's invite our friends for dinner what fun said little witch i'll make a list ghost go at skeleton boon big witch we must have skeleton for dinner just then skeleton was clickety clacking up the hill as he reached the top he saw little witch's list pegged to a tree he heard what big witch said to little witch I think they want to have me for dinner cried skeleton I don't want to be eaten his bones began to quake and shake before the witches saw him he rat a bat tatted down the hill and jingle jangled as fast as he could to ghosts The witches want me in their stew and they want to eat you too he screeched Well ghost and she floated after skeleton They scooted by the graveyard where ghost was shoveling dirt Where are you going in such a hurry he asked The witches want us in their stew and they want to eat you too said skeleton Yikes shouted ghoul let's go hide and he dashed behind the others back on the hill little witch said i'm off to invite our friends for dinner and away she flew on her broomstick but when she got to skeletons He was nowhere to be seen. Maybe he's at the coast. Poor little witch. But she didn't see anyone at ghost's house either. I bet they're all at coals. Poor little witch. She zoomed to the graveyard. It was as quiet as a moon. Where is everybody? said little witch. How can I invite our friends for dinner if they've all disappeared? She flew back to the top of the hill. I couldn't find anybody at home. She told Big Witch, "I guess we'll have to eat our stew all by ourselves." And I was really looking forward to our party. She took down the sign and began to cry. Crow flew down and picked it up. I think I know what's wrong. He called and off he flew, flapping his wings. He went to skeletons, no skeleton. He went to ghosts, no ghost. He went to goals, no goal. And then he saw footprints leading into the woods. He followed them to a big tree. Up, up, up he flew. "What are you what are you doing here?" asked skeleton. "I came to tell you that the witches want you to come for dinner." "You mean they want to eat us for dinner?" said skeleton. "No, they want to have you for dinner," said crow. That means invite you for dinner. Oh, said skeleton. Well, that's different from what I thought. I'm hungry. Let's go. So skeleton, ghost, and ghoul came down from the tree. 
They picked some poison ivy to take to the witches for their stew. When they got to the top of the hill, the witches were so happy to see them. Their faces lit up like jack-o'-lanterns. Come and eat, shouted Big Witch. Have a seat, shouted Little Witch. And we'll give you a treat, said both witches together. It looks so yummy, said Skeleton, that I wish I had a tummy. And they all had fun eating the witches' stew together. The end. Happy Halloween! Thanks for watching. For more exciting read aloud stories, please subscribe to our channel Little Hearts Super Kids. Also follow us on Instagram for amazing updates.